All right. Uh, Shalom Amakim. Uh, first and foremost, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rechachurash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone with Ruba. And I want to give uh, peace, greetings, and salutations to all the Legakim that's pushing his word in uh, truth and sincerity, you know, throughout the four corners of the earth. You know, and the brothers is not wavering in the faith, you know, being diligent in the truth. You know, I say shalom to you, brothers, you know, and I say shalom, you know, to the few sisters that believe in all of meekness and humbleness. You know, I say shalom. You know, uh, I'm your brother Zakaria from GMS Miami Camp. And Lord willing, you know, Lord willing, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakodash, you know, Lord willing, this lesson is uh, edifying to you, since you know. My lesson today, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, is going to be basically on bless our, our, bless are your eyes, you know. Or bless our eye, our eyes, for we see, man. You know, the Lord Yahweh Bashim Al Shah has revealed Himself unto us by His holy name, the name of the Heavenly Father, which is Yahweh, who the world angrily called God, by Hashem, meaning in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Shah means He save or He deliver, and that's who the world angrily called Jesus Christ. Yahweh is who the world angrily called God. I, the Lord revealed His name unto us and the Son's name unto us, man, in this captivity. I he, he revealed his mysteries, uh, the secrets, the times of the end. All right, the end times of Esau, Edom, which is the so-called white man. He revealed who's the wicked, which is Esau, Edom, and he revealed all right, the mysteries all right, that was hidden from ages, all right, that are made manifest unto his saints, which we are the saints, the Israelites. All right, the Lord has revealed it unto the elect of the nation of Israel. Let me get that preset right quick. He revealed the secrets unto his servants and prophets. Because right, not all Israel going to receive this. Amos 3 and 7 says, Surely the Lord power will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. So this secret is revealed unto his servants, the prophets. Look what this word secret mean in the uh, in uh, Hebrew. All right. It says council. Council assembly. Oh, this bear with me. That was the wrong word. Just like it. Is secret. All right. Yeah, it says council. He revealed his council, his assembly, a council of, of familiar conversation, circle of familiar friends, company council, a right, secret council. So he revealed his secret council onto us, man. All right. Oh, the root word of that. All right, so these mysteries are revealed unto us, man. Look at this word, revealed. He revealed. He uncovered. All right. That's why our Lord Yahweh Shai, let me get that right quick. <laughs> he un he sealed the, he un unloosed the seals. This book of Revelation chapter five and verse one, it says, and I saw in the right hand of him that sat on the throne on the throne a book written within and on the backside sealed with seven seals so the understanding all right, the mystery of the scriptures i right, was was sealed all right going back to daniel let me get that daniel chapter 12. in verse bear with me nine it says and he said it said, Daniel 12, chapter 9, verse 12, it, sa it said, and he said, go thy way, Daniel, for the words are closed up and sealed to the time of the end. And we had the time of the end. Our Lord, when our Lord, Yahweh was on the scene, he revealed, he sacrificed himself for the Most High made Yahweh ultimate sacrifice to reveal these mysteries, these secrets unto us. It says, and he said, go thy way, Daniel, for the words are closed up and sealed to the time of the end. So Daniel is going to die. He's going to come back and prophesy in his lot. I read verse 13. But go thy way unto the end be, for thou shalt rest and stand in thy lot at the end of the days. And he's back again, you know, breaking down these mysteries. Daniel 12 and verse 10. It says, many shall be purified and made white and tried, but the wicked shall do wickedly. And none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. Going, in, going perfectly with the lesson. I only the wise gonna understand. The wicked is not gonna understand. None of the wicked is gonna understand. Two thirds of our people, they're not gonna understand. 
in these heathens, they definitely not un going to understand because the Lord said this. Psalm chapter 148, 149, 147. Psalms 147 verse 19 says, He showed his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He have not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgment, they have not known them. Praise the Lord. So he revealed his secrets unto Israel. All right, so back at Revelation chapter 5 and verse 1, it says, And he saw, saw and I saw in, in, the, in the right hand of him that sat on the throne a book written within and on the, on the backside sealed with seven seals. And I saw a strong anger, angel proclaiming with a loud voice, Who is worthy to open a book and to loose the seals thereof? No man in heaven nor in earth, neither on, neither under the earth, was able to open a book, neither to look there on Alright so no one was Able to open the book Cause scripture say Daniel Alright it's gonna be Sealed until the end Alright Verse Verse 4 Alright It says I saw in the right hand Of him that sat on the throne I talking about the most high Alright verse um, 4 it says And I wept much This is John the Revelator On the island of Patmos He wept Cause no one was worthy it says because no man was worthy to open the open it to read the book, neither to look thereof. And one of the elders said unto me, Weep not. Behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has David, talking about the Lord Yahushai, has prevailed to open the book and to loose the seven seals thereof. All right. All right. So King David, I mean, um, Yahushai, which was the root of King David, all right, he was able to open the seals. All right, through his blood being shed. All right, because Yahweh has the offspring in the root of David. All right, verse six. Verse six says, "And I beheld, and lo, in the midst of the throne of the four beasts, in the midst of the elders, stood a lamb as it has been slain, having seven horns, meaning complete power; seven eyes, meaning meaning complete understanding, which." are the seven spirits of the most high sent forth into all the earth and he came and took the book out of the right hand of him that sat on the, upon the throne and when he had taken the book the four beasts and the four and twenty elders fell before the lamb having every one them um harps and golden vows full of odors which are the prayers of the saints all right so yahweh shall reveal open the seals man and they were revealed unto us Matthew chapter 13 in verse 9 it says who have ears to hear let him hear who have ears to hear let him hear and the disciples came and said unto him why speakest thou unto them in parables he answered and said unto them because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven but to them it is not given I, to the rest of Israel it is not given for whosoever have to him shall be given, and he shall have more abundance. But whosoever have not from him shall be taken away, even as he had. Therefore speak I to them in parables, because they see and see not, and hear and hear not, neither do they understand. We're talking about two thirds. And them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, because it's reading Isaiah 6 chapter, tells you the same thing. Which saith, By hearing ye shall hear, and shall not understand, and seeing ye shall see, and shall proceed not. But this people's heart is waxed gross, and their eyes are full of hearing. Their eyes have they, they have closed. So our people reject the word. They heard it, but they rejected it. All right, that's why the understanding, the true understanding is revealed unto us. So bless our us. It says, and should understand with their heart, and should be converted, and I should heal them. But bless are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. And that's a blessing. All right, so bless are our eyes for we see and for we hear, and the Lord has revealed his secrets unto us. All right, this is the book of Baruch. Actually, let me get a couple, get a couple more before I get that. This is Romans 16. Romans 16 and verse 25. It says, Now to him that is of power to establish you according to my gospel and the preaching of Yahweh Shahamashah according to the revelation of the mystery which was kept secret since the world began this mystery was kept secret from the beginning 
but now is made manifest and by the scriptures of the prophets according to the commandment of the everlasting power made known to all nations for the obedience of faith all right, so this is made known unto all nations all right, because our people were scattered through all nations but the elect is going to be risen from all nations all right if you read revelation 5 i'll just go there i just, i didn't read it but this goes into that a great multitude revelation 5 and verse nine it says and they sung a new song saying thou art ready to take the book and thou hast opened the seals thereof for thou wast slain and has redeemed us to our power by thy blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation and has made us unto our power kings and priests and we shall reign on the earth and who are the kings and priests that's going to reign on earth I'm talking about israel this book of exodus i believe it's 19 17 and 19 exodus yeah exodus chapter 19 in verse i read four it says, Ye have seen what I did unto the Egyptians, how I bear your eagles' wings and brought you unto myself. Now, therefore, if you will obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant, you shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people, for all the earths are mine. Are mine. We start at verse 1. Get the content of who they talk, who, who this letter, I mean, who this is uh, talking to. All right, who, who's going to be the king of the priest? Exodus 19 and 1. In the, in the third month, when the children of Israel were going forth out of the land of Egypt, the same day came they into the wilderness of Mount Zion. They're talking about Israel. Exodus 19 to 5. Now, therefore, if ye will obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant, ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people. For all the earth is mine, and ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. These are the words that thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. So we are the priests and the kings. All right, that's going to be found out of every uh, nation. All right, that's the elect that's scattered. All right, that's, that's going to be delivered because when the Lord comes, he's going to gather his elect from the four winds from one end of the earth into another. That's uh, Matthew 24, 30 on down. All right, so back at... Um, Yeah, I proved that point right quick. The Lord said, blessed are your eyes. So let's get a Baruch. I mean, it's in Romans. All right, let's get a Ephesians. Ephesians. This, this gospel was hit. Bear with me. Colossians 1, so like this. Colossians chapter 1 and verse 20, 25. Wherefore I am made a minister according to the dispensation of the Most High, which is given to me for you to fulfill the word of the Most High. Even the mystery which have been hid from ages and from generations, but now is made manifest to the saints. All right, so this mystery is made manifest to the saints, which the saints are Israel. Let's prove that. Psalms 50. Verse 5, Psalms 55 says, Gather my saints together unto me, those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. Talking about Israel. Psalms chapter 147, 148. Yeah, Psalms chapter 148 and verse 14. He exalted, he also exalted the horn of his people. The praise of all his saints, even the children of Israel, a people near unto him, praise ye the Lord. 
right? The saints are Israel, so the mystery is being revealed unto his saints, right? Which is the elect, right? 144,000. So I just end off on this, so bless our eyes. The book of Baruch, chapter 2, I believe. Baruch chapter 2, in verse 28. It says, as thou spakest by thy servant Moses in the day when thou didst command him to write the law before the children of Israel, saying, so this is talking to the children of Israel. If you will not hear my voice, surely this very great multitude shall be turned into a small number among the nations where I was scattering them. Because that was one of the curses, Deuteronomy 28. All right. Was it 15 on down? But the main point of us being scattered is verse 68, Deuteronomy 28 and 64. 64 down to 68 because 68 said we're going to go into slavery with ships verse 30 it says for I for I knew that they would not hear me because it is a stiff necked people but in the land of the of their captivities they shall remember themselves so bless our eyes because we remember ourselves and we telling our people that there is lies but they rejecting it all right they're not going to get the true understanding all right thus the the um they're not going to grasp the the power of us returning back to our power. Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. Alright. Verse 30 says, For I knew that they would not hear me because they stiff necked people, but in land of captivity they shall remember themselves and bless our eyes. Our eyes for we remember ourselves. And shall know that I am the Lord their power, for I will give them their heart and ears to hear. This is talking about the elect, because the Lord said he blinded them. Alright, they have ears but they hear not, eyes but they can't perceive. So this is talking about the elect remembering themselves, verse 32. And they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name. The Lord revealed his name unto us. Yahweh, why Yahweh shy? And return from their stiff neck and from their wicked deeds. For they shall remember the way of their fathers which have sinned before me. And I will bring them again into the land which I promised with an oath unto their fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And they shall be lords of it, and I will increase them. They shall not be dismissed. All right, because we're going to inherit all the promises that Yahweh Bashim Shai told us. We're never going to die. We're going to live forever. We're going to have new bodies. All right, we're going to be changed in the twinkling of the eye, as it says in 1 Corinthians 15. All right, we're going to be re rejoicing every more, ever more, and we're going to have all these heathens under subjection under us, man. Verse 35, and I will make an everlasting covenant with them to be their power. And the Lord, with that second covenant, he's going to put his law, statute, and commandments our inward part. We're never going to sin again. And they shall be my people, and I will no more drive my people Israel out of the land that I have given them. Because the Lord made a promise to our forefathers, man. You know, so bless our eyes so we see, all right, and we know that this is not our rest. And we know that something is greater coming for our people because of the Most High, Yahweh Bashim al got greater promises for us, man. We're not going to be living in America or all the lands that we're scattered, being oppressed continually. Those was the curses that the Lord put upon us. All right. The Lord's going to take them off and he's going to put the curses that was on us upon the heathen. All right. Especially Esau, Edom. And after a thousand years of hardcore abundance in the kingdom, in the kingdom of heaven, these Edomites, they're going to be destroyed. The Lord's going to eradicate all the Edomites by fire. Obadiah verse 18 says that. And all the other nations, they're going to get back their lands, but they're going to always be continue, uh, tributaries unto us. They're going to build up the kingdom of heaven for us. Just how we build up all these ancient empires and this empire now America and all these um, countries because we was at the bottom. So we we was their slaves, but now they're going to be our slaves and we're going to live forever in righteousness. So bless our eyes that we see and we have that hope and the Lord called us in his faith that we can prophesy these things and, and believe on these things. The Lord gave us this, the faith, which is a gift that's going to ultimately lead to our salvation if we continue scribing I right, for this truth and showing that brotherly love and uh holding fast our faith you know enduring all temptations i right, lord gonna keep us man when the hour you know jacob's trouble come the lord got us when the out mark of the beast the rfid trip be made mandatory the lord got us so, you know so we don't got nothing to worry about you know we just gotta keep fighting you know keep fighting keep enduring you know so lord winning this lesson was uh, edified to the elect of the nation of israel you know i want to give all praises all honor and all glory unto Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rechakodash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone, Ruah, and I want to give our peace 
greetings and salutations to all the elect. I can. Let's push this word in truth and sincerity. Hey, shalom, I can keep pushing, keep it going, shalom.